Hey guys, oh, what do you think? <laughs> so um, I get a couple of things I'm going to talk to you about today and I'm going to talk to you about this awesome, awesome opportunity that I got and that Marlene Fab and Glam got as well. So I'm going to talk about that in a little bit, but before I go there, I want you to take a look at my eyes. Now granted, I, I'm not going to like zoom in close to my eyes because I can't reach the camera, but both these eyes were made up with different palettes. So I'm far from an expert. You know, I don't proclaim to be any kind of a makeup artist. I think every single one of you know that. But when I can almost duplicate a eye look using two different palettes at two hugely different price points, I find that so impressive. So let me just tell you, I have received a PR package from C Color Cosmetics. And when I got the PR package, it was full of palettes. And you probably saw some of these reviewed and discussed on other people's channels. Marlene Fab and Glam comes to mind because I know she's talked about these. I don't know if she's talked about every single one of these. I got five palettes from them. And I mean, I, I'm like, I, I'm over the moon about these. And I know you guys think, oh, she's always over the moon. But in reality, I really am because these are so affordable. I'm covering up the mirror. This is the color, the sea color around the world. Aren't those, I mean, those are really nice, nice colors. So I got this and Marlene had raved about this because you can't really, for the price point, these products are amazing. So they sent me the fairy tale one, I, there's no number on it, but then they sent me the fairy tale two and I haven't tried them yet. They have, one seems to be darker colors, the other a little bit lighter colors. And I think they're really, really cute. I mean, really nice. The Feverish palette, super, super cute. And I love the colors in this. I haven't, I have not even used this one yet. And I haven't used this one. This seems to be more of a warmer palette, the Vanna palette. So, you know, I think this is warmer colors. It, it reminds me of Down South, but some really pretty colors. But what I have tried, what I am like super excited about is Obsessed 3, this palette. Now, last year, I received the Huda palette, Mauve Obsessions. I received this as a birthday gift. From Sheila, Simply Sheila. This has been, throughout the year, one of those small palettes that I can go to, I can put in my purse if, if I'm going somewhere and I don't need a whole lot because I know I can create an entire eye look with this palette. It has all the colors that I really not like from a neutral that I can use on my lid from the darker ones, a little bit of reddish color, some pretty, pretty shimmers. It has all the colors that I really like in there. This is the Huda Mauve Obsessions palette. One of my eyes has this on it and just this on it. My other eye has, from C Color Cosmetics, Obsessed 3. Here's Obsessed 3. This eye has Obsessed 3. I'm gonna choose this this way. I shouldn't even give it away. This eye has the Huda. <laughs> amazing, huh? I mean, don't you think this is amazing? I think this is amazing. Is it an exact dupe? Probably not. Um, the colors are a little bit different, but hardly at all. Can you see that? Hardly at all. So the Huda palette, this one, and this one over here that is shaking is the Obsessed 3. I'm telling you. I have been, since I got this, I, I mean, just, I haven't used the other ones yet because I really, I want to use them before I tell you what my thoughts are. But I can tell you from my Obsessed 3 compared to the Huda palette that I have 
known and loved for a long time. This works amazing, amazing. And I, I've wanted to work, I've come home, I haven't had to do a whole bunch of touch-ups at all, the color has stayed. I am a person who li has a lighter touch. I don't want something to go on super, super dark. So I've heard some people say, oh, you know, you, you have to work to get a color payoff or whatever. And that could be true for some of the palettes, but not for this baby. Not, at least, no, and not for me. The color payoff on this, I think is fabulous, fabulous. And it's only $5. It's only $5. So I took a look at their other Obsessed palettes, and I'm going to order myself a few more. The Obsessed 6 has my name all over it. And then the, I forgot now if it was the, there's a darker one, uh, more of a smokier look that I'm going to get. Five bucks. I was like, whoa, whoa, because my Huda palette is a lot more than five bucks. A lot more than five bucks. And you can see the Huda palette. I've used it a lot. So I'm not just talking a one-time swatch or something like that and this I've only had a week and I've, <laughs> I've been using the heck out of it too so anyways I wanted to talk about that because for those of you that are like eyeshadow um, addicted <laughs> if you have an addiction to eyeshadow palettes or you just like to try to play around with eyeshadows and you want something that is I think the consistency of the C color uh, obsessed three I don't notice the difference between that and my Huda. I really don't. The amount of fallout is very minimal. Same thing with my Huda palette. I mean, sometimes you put some colors on, you might get some specks. I mean, if someone tells you, you never get, even my Viseart, I get some. So I always have to do a light cleanup. There is a difference between wearing the entire eyeshadow colors all the way down your face, which I can talk about in a future video because it's happened to me on some palettes, and then just a few little things that you brush off. There's a huge, huge difference. So to me, that was super, 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 super awesome. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about is, and this I received via the Octoly Network. You know I'm a CBD fanatic. I use several, well, I actually, I, I'm sort of, maybe not a brand snob, but I am loyal to those products that have worked for me. So I've been using the Maku CBD oil on my face. I've been using Realm. They have a roll on that I've been using on my body and for aches and pains and stuff like that. I really like that a lot. I love the quality of it. So when I had an opportunity to try this from the Octoly Network and I said, oh, this is from Radiant Labs via the Octoly Network and this is actually a CBD hydrating radiance stick just for your lips. Now, I will tell you, if you have a aversion to coconut oil, you may not like this, but this has 50 milligrams of CBD, does have some coconut oil, it does also have some sapphire oil, and then uh, turpins. I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. What they say, it's this big round stick, you put it on, and now I just put some lipstick on it, but... I put it on when if like I said when I first opened it up I said wow this is such a a big super thick product how am I ever going to make this work but it actually actually worked really nice I really like it so this is something and I use CBD on my oil my face I use it I use CBD I mean I use the Maku on my face the the oil and that's pretty high dosage so I I said you know I'm having such good luck with it why not try something for my lips and that's what this is. This is for my lips. This was sent to me complimentary from Radiant Laps via the Octoly Network. And I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to see how I like it. But I've used it for about four days now. And so far, I'm really liking it. I have it by my bedside. So I've been using it at night. And, I, and I'm always using something at night. I'm always putting something on my lips. So it seems to be perfect for me for that. I'll link all the information below so you can check it out. Plushed hydrating stick for lips. And hmm, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So hair talk. I, I was like super, super thrilled to have had this opportunity from Wig Studio One. So those of you that follow along and watch some of my wig reviews or 
when I wear different wigs and create different looks. I think it's super fun to do that. But more importantly for me, I have thinning hair. And so when I can put a wig on and I can do my day-to-day -day thing or a hair piece or pin my hair up and use a fake bun, and sometimes it's I just do my natural hair on videos, but other times I have hair helpers on. And so because I have thinning hair and I'm trying different things to help my hair, I also sometimes believe over styling can hurt your hair. So to me, having an opportunity to have a wig, to have something I feel comfortable in that I can wear that is a very kind of natural look for me is a, is a total win. I started searching on Facebook and I belong to a couple of different groups on Facebook. One of the groups that I found early on is Wig Studio One's Facebook page and they have an amazing Facebook page. So I have admired Wig Studio One for a long time. And one of my favorite, and there are many beautiful women on YouTube, but one of my favorite wig reviewers that I have watched over and over again is Taz from Taz's Wig Closet. And recently Taz, and she's always reviewed wigs from different companies, but recently she's affiliated more so with Wig Studio One. And she reached out to me and to Marlene Fab and Glam, and she asked us individually if we would be interested in, but to be a guest reviewer. And as a guest reviewer, I, I reviewed this wig, and it's on their channel and by the time this goes live I'm not too sure if you'll have an opportunity to already have seen it or not if so I'll link it if not I'll come back and link it but I reviewed this wig that they sent me as a guest reviewer and I was like oh my god and I was so nervous when I did that video because it's one thing talking to you guys and talking about something on my hair it's another thing talking to people that I, I mean I don't know the people that are gonna majority of the people on wig studio one the people that are gonna watch those videos there, you know, I probably don't know most of them. I, I may, I know some of them, but not, not all for sure. And so I was talking to like strangers, and I know that sounds corny because you guys are going with strangers too. But you know, you're really not. So um, you're not strangers to me. Even those of you that don't comment, you know, you come, you watch my videos. I can tell by my views that you're watching, and I so appreciate every single one of you. I just hit eleven thousand subscribers. Can you believe that? I'm all over the place in this video. But anyway, so Taz reached out to both me and Marlene separately and asked if we would be interested in being a um, guest wig reviewer. And I jumped on it. I know, Ta I know Marlene jumped on it. So Taz sent me this wig. This is from Belle Tress. And this wig, I think this is the cutest thing. Now this, my mother, when she saw this, she said, oh, you look like you've been tussled in the wind. And I said, yeah, that's what it's supposed to be, tussled in the wind. I love this look. I love this relaxed, sort of beachy, wavy look. I mean, to me, this is casual, casual, casual. In the color, even though at first I looked at it and I said, oh, I don't, the color is not light enough and all that. And I was concerned about the dark roots because, you know, rooted looks like this, a little bit of a darker root than I'm, than I'm used to. But the color, which is sugar cookie with hazelnut, <laughs> the color actually ended up being really good. Very, very natural. So I just wanted to just wanted to tell you that this wig is super, super comfortable. And it was sent to me complimentary from Wig Studio One. I'm gonna link their information, link their Facebook page for anyone that has thinning hair or has needs for whatever reason that a wig would help them out. You know, we all deserve to feel beautiful. And sometimes when your hair in your mind falls shot, you can put something like this on and your beauty just shines through. You know, the cap is an average size cap. It feels absolutely, I can't believe how comfortable, how comfortable this is. So you can wash this wig and shake it dry. And you know, pretty well that's all I did is I took it out of the box, shook it, and put it on. But anyways, that's what I wanted to talk about this wig because I love this. I think it looks fun. I feel good in it and I'm super thrilled to have had the opportunity to review it. I'm going to link some information below for those of you that might be interested in. I'll insert a couple of clips here at the end showing me outside wearing it and maybe opening the box and all that. But I just wanted you to, to, to see that. I just think this is such a to me, it's such a fun look, and having this opportunity has just been fantastic. Thank you so much, Taz, and Wig Studio One. I love it. So what do you guys think? Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is my Serenity bracelets. I keep forgetting. You know, 
if you guys follow me on Instagram, I talk about these a lot on Instagram, and I keep forgetting to mention them in a video, but I have bought five Serenity bracelets. These are the bracelets that Marlene Fab and Glam's daughter, Stephanie, has created where the proceeds, or 20% of the proceeds, I should say, go to a, a, an addiction awareness center. And this is in honor of Marlene's son, Jonathan, who many of you know and love Marlene, and you know that she recently lost Jonathan, and to, um, you know, to drugs. And all I can tell you is that drug addiction is everywhere around us and we really need to do more to help those people that are addicted because it is an illness it is a sickness i don't think someone wakes up and says this morning oh i want to be a drug addict they don't so you know the the more we can do to bring this out of the shadows and out in the open and actually work on something to help this issue because it's an epidemic and it's an epidemic that hits us all, all walks of life. So the more we can do to help it, I think the better it is. And I just want to tell you, I absolutely love my Serenity bracelets. I couldn't make my mind up. There's four different ones. I love them all. I ended up buying five. I really could not make my mind up. I just thought they were really, really nice. So I've been wearing these every day. I love my Serenity bracelets. Absolutely love them. So anyways... I think that's it for now. Um, I do have a couple other things, but I'll save that for another video. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks you so much for supporting the channel. I appreciate every single one of you. And let me know, do you think, what do you think of this look? This is, I think, did I mention what it was called? This is Italian Roast, and the color is Sugar Cookie with Hazelnut. Now I'm hungry, and I'm on a diet. Trying to get rid of my double chin. 